Hi, I'm Jimmy. Today, I'm going to take you through my latest pedal board, which I use a lot recently. And I'm gonna show you why I built it this way, and also what I've been using in this board. So the housing of the pedal is called the Bumblebee from New X. It's the small size one, so it's pretty tiny and not very heavy. And the first pedal of the chain is the New X Mini Compressor, which is right here. And the next one will be the Chorus, also from New X. And the next one will be the Fireman Distortion, which is my favorite. And next is the More Pure Boost for some solo tones. After that, I go into the Amp Academy for Amp Simulation because I always go direct without any real amps. So this is very important. And the next one will be the Revert from A Labs which I do a review a few months ago. You can check it out here. And the next one will be the New X Duo Time, which is also my favorite. And I'm running stereo out to my recording interface. And that's how you're gonna hear it. And now let's hear the guitar sound right now. Make sure all the pedals is off. It's just a straight DI sound. And the first thing I always do is turn on the M simulation, the M Academy. And you might notice my signal is a little bit weak because that's what I always wanted to do is using another pedal to boost up the level. So the first boost is the compression. And the compression here is just giving a lot of extra level boost and also even out the pickup levels difference. And then if I wanted to get something more dirty, I use the fireman distortion. Now that's the fireman with the compression. Let's turn the compression off first. That's a big reason why I love this mini compression a lot. Not only is a compressor pedal, but it is also a great gain boost pedal. As you can tell, when I turn it on, it gives a lot of extra boost. But it is not very noisy at all. And if I wanted to go even high gain, I change the channel on the fireman. Turn on the compression. So that's the maximum gain on this board. While we are in the high gain sound, let's check out the M Academy. After that, if I want to solo something, 
I will probably need some ambience reverb or delay. So let's check out the NLAPS reverb first. Turning off. So this reverb sounds very very good with stereo mode. And next, if I don't want reverb, I actually want some echo sound. I will use the dual time delay from New X. This is how it sounds. Even more crazy, I can add the reverb back in. Last pedal is the more pure boost. It's a clean boost just to boost the level and take the EQ a little bit. So let's try the high gain setting. This is why I also love the more pupils so much because I can set a basic tone I like and use the pure boost just to bring me up the level and make me more me focus and that is very good for lead stuff. Okay, lastly, let's talk about the signal chain. Why I place the pedal right here like this? I believe many people will ask about why the chorus is before the dry pedal so my reason is if this two pedal is close enough i can hit them both at the same time so i can quickly change to high gain without the chorus with chorus just with one press and the same thing goes to the channel switching on the fireman and next to the pure boost so i can switch very quickly from low gain without the pure boost quickly switch them with one press to the high gain with the pure boost also i have to mention the power supply i'm using is also from new x is called the zeus 
and it is a great power supply before this i'm using a small power supply and it's a little bit noisy but after i change to the zeus all the extra noise problems are gone okay that's it if you like what i do here please subscribe to my youtube channel click the like if you like this video and share with your guitar friends and i'm jimmy see you in the next video bye